Welcome to Windsor Island Resort. This is truly a unique community built exclusively for the Orlando vacation homeowners. Windsor Island Resort offers an opportunity for you to create lasting memories with your family and friends, as well as a noteworthy investment for your real estate portfolio. It's located just south and west of Disney World Resort and all of the other major attractions of Orlando. And Windsor Island also has amazing resort amenities that I can't wait to show you. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Chris Kennedy, your Orlando Realtor, and in this video we'll look at the homes in Windsor Island in terms of the types, size, and price range. We'll look at the details of what's included and the details of the homeowner association. We'll also look at all of the resort amenities. Then I'll speak to who these homes are well suited for as well as who may want to avoid owning in a community like this. I'll talk about the home buying process or what it takes to secure a home here. And I know there'll be a lot of questions of what type of return to expect in a community like this. So I'll speak to that a little bit as well near the end. So if you're ready, let's go take a look at some of the homes. Windsor Island Resort is a master planned community consisting of roughly 800 home sites. The community of Windsor Island Resort was built and designed for vacation homes and with the intent of maximizing the return on investment in the short term rental market. In fact, the community was built exclusively for short-term vacation rentals. There are both single-family homes and townhomes in Windsor Island. All of the homes are two stories. The single-family homes range in size from five bedrooms and increase in size up to 10 bedrooms. The sizes range from 2,500 square feet and up to 4,400 square feet of heated living space. The townhomes are all the same layout and those each include five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms with roughly 2,300 square feet of heated living space. The homes at Windsor Island Resort were designed with floor plans to maximize the rental return. You will notice that each floor plan is situated to make it comfortable for large families or groups. Every floor plan has at least one bedroom on the ground floor and every bedroom has its own ensuite bathroom or toilet. The homes in Windsor Island Resort range in price depending on size, finishes, and location. At the time of this video, the single family home prices start around $600,000 and increase up to $790,000, while the townhomes range in price from $440,000 to $470,000. Let's take a look at the Windsor Island Resort amenities. The main attraction to the Windsor Island Resort community is the Aloha Club as seen here. There is a sizable zero entry pool as well as a splash pad play area for small kids, a spa, and another children's pool complete with its own water park. And if you're looking for more water features, there's also a lazy river that floats around the resort. Other features of the Windsor Island Resort Aloha Club include a sand volleyball court, a basketball court, family style cabanas, a hammock garden, and if you want to break from the water, there is also a nine hole miniature golf course. If you're thirsty or just want to keep up with your favorite sports team during your vacation, then you'll love the convenience of the covered bar right next to the pool. And there's also a clubhouse that features a fitness facility, a great room, office space, and a cafe complete with an ice cream shop. And after a busy day in Orlando, you may just want to conveniently relax by the fire pit and enjoy some of Disney World's nightly fireworks shows. Now let's look at what's included in the homes as well as the details of the homeowner association. Every home in Windsor Island Resort is complete with its own private pool. Yes, even the townhomes. Again, the pool is not an extra upgrade and it is included in the home purchase. Each pool will have a paved deck and the pool will be completely screened in. Every home does include all stainless steel appliances, washer and dryer, window treatments, and an owner's storage closet are already included in the home purchase. Now let's look at what's included in the homeowner association. The HOA covers a 24 hour guarded gate, full landscaping for the common grounds, plus full landscaping and irrigation is included on your home itself in the front and backyard. Other responsibilities of the homeowner association include a high speed internet and cable TV. There's a daily valet garbage disposal service, 
HOA fees range from $434 to $462 per month, depending on the size of your home. You will have your design options for the finishes after going under contract. Now let's look what's not included. The homes in Windsor Island Resort are not offered furnished or decorated. You'll see the model homes here, as well as maybe some other vacation home rentals, are decorated with themed rooms. There are vendors that decorate this for you and can even furnish homes for you, but that can be done after you have taken ownership. Property management is not included as a perk to owning in this resort community. This means you are able to hire the property management service of your choice, or you can also self-manage if you are interested in doing so. Windsor Island Resort does not currently offer a shuttle service to Disney World or Universal, but that could change in the future. Now let's take a look at who these homes are well suited for as well as who may want to avoid this community. The community was built to cater to the short term rental market to provide larger groups or families a place to rent under one roof while staying in close proximity to all of Orlando's finest attractions. In fact, as an owner, this Windsor Island Resort home cannot be your primary residence and you're not allowed to live on the property for more than one consecutive month. If you're someone that is looking for a small home to own and use as your primary residence and potentially rent out from time to time, this is not the community for you as the smallest homes are five bedrooms. And as I mentioned the size of the homes previously, this community caters to multiple groups or families that want to rent one property. An example could be a brother and a sister that each have two children, plus the grandparents want to join on the vacation, and now they're using every bit of seven bedrooms. This could be a lot more convenient compared to renting multiple consecutive hotel rooms that may or may not even have a kitchen. Now let's look at the buying process and how to secure a home for yourself. Windsor Island Resort began construction in 2019. Similar to most master plan communities, this community was built in phases. Phase one and phase two are completely sold out. However, there are still plenty of home sites available in phase three and phase four at the time of this video. The current home buying process goes like this. The builder will release home sites or lots once per month. In order to get one of these home sites, you do need to be on a wait list. To be on the wait list for a new home site, you do need to have your pre-approval if you plan to finance or your proof of funds if you're going to pay cash. When the home sites are released, you will be notified and then you will need to make a decision very quickly as they will move on to the next person if you do not wish to proceed. And if you wish to proceed, a $30,000 deposit is required at the time of reservation. Then an additional $35,000 deposit is due at the time the contract is complete, which is about 45 days after the reservation. I'm sure many of you watching this will wonder why is there a waitlist? Well, it's not likely there is a waitlist because there is a crazy amount of demand, although there could be. It's more likely to control the inventory and plan for the building because there are only so many people on staff available to build the homes. Also, they may not know if the cost or availability of materials is going to change, so it makes sense only to release a certain amount per month so that the builder can actually deliver on the homes without delays or price adjustments. What type of rental return can you expect on a home like this? I'm sure there are a lot of you wondering what type of return you can expect on a vacation home like this, or is there even a market for eight to 10 bedroom homes near Orlando? The answer is absolutely yes. It makes a lot of sense for large or extended families to rent places like this compared to the alternative of trying to get multiple hotel rooms. It is more convenient and more affordable for guests and renters. Also, this is not the first community like this. In fact, this is Palti's fourth community like this right here in Orlando. So what type of ROI can you expect or return on investment? There are a lot of variables to that equation, so it's not wise to give a blanket number or a percentage return. I can share factors with you that will influence the return, which are the following. So the amount of time that you are going to use the property for yourself will obviously decrease the amount of income you're going to get, especially if you're going to use it at peak times of the year. Other factors include the level of upgrades in your home, 
The more upgrades in your home, the more likeliness it is that you'll be able to rent for a higher amount or rent it more often. Examples of upgrades to consider include nice furnishings like seen here, perhaps professionally decorated or themed rooms, any extra things to do such as gaming systems, televisions, or pool tables all help make your vacation home more attractive to potential renters. Your property manager is another big factor. The more property manager is doing for you, then the more they will likely cost and eat away from that margin. However, do consider if the property management is doing a great job keeping your home booked, in good shape, and keeping you from spending your valuable time on the management aspect, then there is a certain relative value in that as well. Ratings are also very important. You or your management company want to make sure the guests are having a great experience and leaving great five-star reviews. I am happy to help you run through some specific numbers and scenarios to see if this is going to make sense for you and your goals. And then finally, to put this in perspective, it's hard to imagine that the builders would continue building communities like this if there wasn't a demand for it. There are people that own multiple homes like this in Orlando, and I'm sure they wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't profitable. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, I do appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you are interested in owning a property here in Windsor Island Resort, my contact information is in the description below, and I'd be honored to be your real estate agent. Make sure you subscribe and check out any of my other neighborhood tours. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.